Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a, a message uh, from uh, my mother. Uh, this is message four, and uh, I guess this is uh, for uh, people who are friends of mine, uh, people who like to follow my videos, and uh, they've been uh, very encouraging so far. And uh, I don't often watch my videos. Uh, I do a video, and I don't often watch it, and I've been watching uh, the visits to the uh, council and uh, I've been watching these videos from my mother. Um, when, when I sit here and, and uh, I speak her voice, uh, it goes right through me. I, I don't know what's being said until it comes out of my mouth. And so I often can't remember what's been said. And uh, so I go back and I watch the video. Uh, so uh, uh, I'll just uh, let her speak. I'll pray first and then uh, let her speak. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you, your Holy Spirit would inspire my mother, June, uh, to speak and uh, that uh, you'd give her words to encourage me and bless me and lift me up uh, and uh, that uh, you would guide her in everything she has to say, uh, knowing that uh, she can't tell me specific things uh, that would uh, cause detriment uh, to my future. Uh, so bless her and encourage her and let her speak under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. So uh, I'll just uh, let my mother speak. Uh, so Matthew, um, you, you woke up today uh, with uh, your brother going crazy uh, seeing uh, something on the internet about fires all through America and earthquakes and uh, he's gone crazy and got, grabbed your credit card and uh, uh, spent all your money uh, on uh, what he believes is six weeks worth of uh, shopping because he believes shops are going to run out of uh, food. Uh, he doesn't listen to you about uh, the book of Revelation. He doesn't uh, consider that you know anything about it. And uh, you, uh, he disrespects you in that way and stole your credit card basically and uh, spent your money and uh, he's gone off now because he hasn't got enough money to sell his car and uh, it's a whole lot of stress that you woke up with and uh, we uh, we uh, talked to you and I talked to you and said uh, it's probably a good thing that he sells his car, he'll have spare cash and he'll know what it's like to be humble and catching trains and public transport rather than having his own car and uh and uh so you're back at peace now you just uh, received an email uh from someone who wants to get four prophecies and a prophetic blueprint and uh, two angel messages and have a trip to heaven and for that she wants to give you a thousand dollars uh uh towards your next book and uh so that's uh encouraged you and blessed you uh, you can certainly use that money uh for for books that are coming and, and for your parables book and uh so, so that's exciting. Uh, uh, that's um, <coughs> real favour. Uh, and uh, you uh, were asking for finances, and uh, and uh, we, heaven, we uh, have supplied our finances in that way. And uh, that'll be wonderful when she works out how to pay you. Um, I, I want to share with you that um, <coughs> we want you to continue in the glory realm uh, we want you to continue uh to be in peace and uh this um this interruption this morning with your brother uh feeling that the end of the world has come and revelation babylon has fallen revelation 18 is being fulfilled um this was just a disturbance uh, by the enemy um uh, he believed God told him to go and buy food and that wasn't God. And uh, he's not aware that there's an antichrist spirit. He's not aware that there's a spirit that masquerades as God. And uh, he's got no idea what Revelation 18 means and uh, and uh, what that really entails. And uh, and uh, so he's clueless and he, he doesn't uh, respect you when it comes to biblical eschatology he doesn't uh, respect your views on the bible uh he uh is really strong-willed and and uh, thinks he knows best and uh, so so that's an issue but 
And the point of the matter, the point I want to make to you is that uh, this whole disturbance was meant to get you out of peace and you've got enough money in your PayPal account to pay your bills that uh, you had money set aside in your bank account to pay uh, two $50 bills and you've got money in your PayPal that uh, you can access to pay those bills. Uh, you just got to get your credit card back so he doesn't spend that money too. Um, and uh, this, this whole episode uh, was meant to uh, fracture uh, your peace and uh, have you worried. And uh, we've uh, spoken to you and uh, you've, you've tried to go back to sleep, but uh, you can't get back to sleep. And we've spoken to you and talked you around and showed you how Satan's uh, move uh, to disturb things is going to work out uh, for your brother's good and uh, he'll get finances that he'll be able to use uh, for the groceries and uh, he'll be able to pay you back and uh, and things will progress uh, and he'll just be handicapped that he won't have a car from now on uh, if that's the case and he sells the car. I want to talk to you about uh, this uh, woman who who requested uh, these things. Um, she's not only been raised up, uh, uh, she's not only been raised up to finance you, but um, she's got a heart to finance you and finance your book. And uh, so I want uh, you to, heaven wants you to do a really good job on the four prophecies that she requested or five prophecies that she requested and, and the blueprint and, uh, and uh, her angel messages and all the services. Uh, I want you to uh, do an extra special job on those things um, and uh, create a playlist on YouTube uh, for her to watch and other people to watch. Um, and uh, I, I want you to, uh, you know, uh, focus on uh, delivering something really nice. Perhaps the angel messages can be a little bit more than five minutes and uh, perhaps the uh, uh, prophecies can be 15 minutes and, and really add value uh, to her because she, she's really going to uh, finance you and uh, support you and uh, and uh, that's a good thing. Um, I, I want you to know that um, heaven is fully behind you and uh, you're not discovered for a reason now. Um, the, the reason uh, why you haven't been on Sid Roth and uh, the reason why you haven't been discovered is up until um, when you got free of your sex addiction, um, you weren't ready. Uh, you weren't ready for the attention and uh, uh, heaven uh, wants to uh, prepare you and have you ready and ready within your character to be able to handle the attention of the world. You've seen uh, Dana Coverstone uh, uh, come to the attention of the world with his... Uh, video that went viral of his dream and uh, everyone seems to be copying uh, every one of his dreams. Uh, uh, all the websites are uh, posted on their own website. They, they grab what he says and they post it on their website so they can get 50,000 or 100,000 views on their website and everyone. Um, they're going to do the same to you uh, in the future. They're going to start ripping your videos and uh, and uh, and broadcasting your videos too so you're going to get a much further reach on other people's channels and that's just how people are they've got no um, common decency they've got no respect they just have monetized channels and uh, they they rip other people's videos and duplicate them and that's just how Christians can be um, and uh, but it gets you more exposure and it will achieve uh, more exposure for you um, when when the time comes. Uh, I want you to know that uh, I deeply care about you and uh, my love for you and, and your father's love for you has increased uh, to a level that it never was on earth and uh, I had no idea who you were, Matthew. I... I remember in, in the movie theatre, I, I looked at you and you were looking at Narnia and the movie. And uh, I got this glimpse that this, this son of mine is, is something special. And uh, God uh, gave me an inkling into who you are. And uh, 
besides that, I, I didn't know who you are. And since I've been in heaven and I've seen your future and uh, what, what impacted me the most isn't your future, Matthew, um, as spectacular as it's going to be. What, what influenced me the most was seeing your past, seeing the hundreds of times you slept with prostitutes and that desperate crying soul of yours, uh, uh, crying out for a friend, crying out for attention, crying out for love. And uh, you, you, people can certainly say you went looking for love in all the wrong places and uh, people will never be able to take that testimony away from you that... Uh, that uh, you really tried it uh, the world's way and and it didn't work. And uh, uh, I, I'm just so saddened to watch your conversations and hear what you said. And um, all you wanted was a friend. Uh, you know, your whole addiction would have been over if one of the prostitutes uh, became a friend of yours. You wouldn't need sex. Like your dream. Your dream uh, for the future would would be to have a sexless marriage. Um, the the um, the concept of sex isn't something that uh, really uh, makes you excited uh, because uh, you've had so much sex and and you were let down. And of course, uh, if uh, some future wife uh, wanted uh, to make love, uh, you certainly would do it. But it's not your intention, or you uh, really. Uh, desire is a close friend uh, a person who gets you uh, who, a person who can see you a person who uh, understands you and you had a friend called mary gibson uh and uh, she was in your life and she could see you and she's withdrawn for some reason now and we know the reason but we're not telling you and she's withdrawn uh for some reason now and um you miss her and uh, uh not so miss her just because she's a female, but because she, she, she was your friend and uh, she could see you. Very few people uh, see you, uh, can understand you. And, uh, and Mary got to know you through many videos and reading all of your books. And uh, so that's a, 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 a real uh, good way that someone can come to understand you is read all your books. But how many people have read all your books and how many females uh, take the time to read all your books? And, uh, you, you know, sometimes you wonder about a future wife and uh, uh, heaven has told you that uh, there's going to be one in the future and you've got a uh, hope for that. Uh, you've got uh, a desire for that. Uh, but uh, you're coping really well uh, by yourself now and, uh, you're really focused on uh, what uh, you're meant to do and you're focused on these books. Uh, you're really excited about uh, your conversations with the Holy Spirit series and you're excited that uh, Amazon can put the series on a page um, and uh, people can buy one book and realise it's part of the series and you really like that feature and you'll have... Um, you'll have um, the series of, of the council uh, that you're doing with Anne and it's a really good friendship. We, we really like uh, that friendship uh, that you're developing with Anne and it's not just about um, the, the council meetings, it's about having another friend and in a way she's, uh, she's an older woman and uh, she's uh, a bit less in age of Mary Gibson but uh, She's uh, someone who's prophetic and uh, has got a prophetic gift and uh, you're quite surprised that she can talk to all different saints and she's got access to all the saints and believes that she has and she'll be a good friend for you, Matthew, and uh, we really love her and um, heaven loves her and that was... Um, some people talk about divine connections and... Uh, I think uh, the the term is overrated. People like to think all sorts of connections are divine. But in this instance, uh, this connection was divine. Uh, Anne was saying, we've only known each other two weeks. Can you believe that? And uh, and uh, it's uh, it's really remarkable because uh, you, you flow deep, Matthew. You run really deep. And 
um, it's really fast for you to develop a connection with a person. And I think um, Anne is just uh, overwhelmed that she knows you so well after two weeks. And, uh, and uh, as she reads your books and as she spends more time with you, she'll get to know you uh, on a further uh, level. Um, you looked at a, a blueprint last night uh, to remind yourself, and it's like a template of you. You know, except for um, uh, the intercessor, uh, uh, you uh, are going to be used to record albums in the future, and nearly uh, eight or nine of the points uh, are similar to you. And uh, it's like um, it's really uh, you'd really work well together um, as as like a team in ministry and co-writers, and um, so we really uh, treasure her. Uh, input into your life and she's got a lot to say she's got uh authority and boldness and uh she she won't be afraid to speak up to you and she won't be afraid to uh, give you advice and uh, uh put her uh, just her say in uh to certain things uh, when you need direction or you ask for help or or her advice or her input and uh, she won't be afraid to say it and uh, she already uh, early on uh, gave her advice about Cindy and, uh, and uh, that was uh, welcomed. And uh, the, the issue um, you have uh, and people with authority on their life often have is um, people won't, um, people in their friends uh, won't speak up to them. They're, they're in a circle, won't bring correction and um, they're too afraid of losing their friendship um, to to speak up or disagree with the person and so it happens in in all different circles that uh, people uh, gather around themselves a whole lot of yes men and no one really uh, helps them when they're going off track or uh, going off the path and uh, so uh, you can pray and we'll pray. And uh, if you're listening to this, Anne, uh, just just focus uh, on uh, correcting Matthew. If he's saying something wrong or if he's doing something wrong or he's doing something that you don't believe uh, is right, um, feel free to bring it up with him uh, because uh, he, uh, he, he can use direction and he can be wrong and he can be off and he can be hearing wrong and uh, he, he still has flesh operate in him and uh, so it's important uh, that uh, you uh, feel uh, comfortable to be able to uh, give him some sort of direction so uh, you're not aware Matthew whether she's going to watch this or not uh, but uh, that's just for her I want uh, to tell you briefly that um, You've had it prophesied that you're going to have a publishing company and you are going to, um, it, it's not going to be so much uh, about um, publishing um, uh, books for people and making a, a business and making money. It's going to be about um, giving people a voice and uh, giving people a hand and assisting people to publish like um, Anne, for instance, wouldn't have a clue on how to self-publish a book and how she'd go about it. But you've got this knowledge and you can hold people's hand and uh, help them through, like, just like you've been helping Dundee, your friend, uh, to publish his first book. Um, you, you've got the knowledge and uh, people, uh, that's why they seek out a publishing company. It's not so much that they want a proper publishing deal where they get an advance and get a commission and the publisher pays everything. It, it, you know, a lot of people are prepared to pay and finance their own book. They just want to see themselves in print. Uh, so uh, working a self-publishing model and being a publisher is, is quite an okay thing. Um, but people have got no idea. They've got no clue how to self-publish and it really takes a bit of a skill. Um, you can do it uh, without um, the uh, soft publisher that you use, Bill. You can uh, you can contract someone to make a PDF, and you can contract someone to make an ebook for you, and uh, you can uh, contract someone to do an audio book for you. But Bill does all those things for you, and uh, 
so he's handy to use and uh, uh, you know you, you uh, can't see any reason to reinvent the world even if you started a publishing company you probably use bill to do the mechanics of, of uh, the publishing um, uh, it's really exciting uh, to see you co-writing a book again Matthew um, uh, it's really exciting to work uh, with with another person who who is uh, can uh, see the supernatural and experience the supernatural and uh, uh, she was talking about last night about writing a uh, 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 a book uh, um, you can't think of the word a devotional uh, a devotional uh, with all the women of the Bible talking uh, in a devotional it's just amazing that hey that's not even a book I'm involved in you're thinking hey that's not even a book that I'm going to co-write and here she is she's hitting the ground running and she's going to produce another book uh, not only the book that you're doing but she's going to do another one and perhaps you can offer to publish that for her and uh, pay for the publishing and uh, get that published for her um, but um, we know that uh, we're going to use you uh, in many areas and uh, you're going to uh, publish music uh, you're going to publish books uh, you, you're going to have your own podcast. You're going to have your own, like Sid Roth show, interviewing famous uh, Christians. But only Christians aligned with the truth. Only Christians aligned with the narrow way. And uh, you're you're going to do more of a Jim Baker. You, your first blueprint you did over Jim Baker's ministry. You're going to um, the first blueprint on uh, Matthew's blueprint playlist. Uh, uh, it's an hour and 50 minutes or whatever. Um, if people wanted to listen to that, um, he did a blueprint over um, on, uh, of uh, um, Jim Baker's ministry, not Sid Roth. And uh, he did a, a, a blueprint over Jim Baker's ministry. And um, uh, that blueprint, uh, if you go and listen to it again, Matthew, is like a blueprint over what you're going to do with your ministry. And... Uh, and uh, that was the first time you ever did a blueprint. You didn't know what a blueprint was. And uh, and from that uh, level, you started to do blueprints for people. And um, Orti, uh, your friend, and Orti's uh, people that work with Orti doing prophecies all do blueprints now. And so it's like um, uh, they're like uh, Destiny Scrolls, and Anne has had one of them. So if you're listening, Anne, you understand what they are. And uh, they're very helpful, and uh, they're, they're uh, something really different uh, in the prophetic, and uh, it's something that we've taught you. And uh, and uh, so you did that one for Jim Baker, and you're going to operate uh, like him. Uh, a lot of your guests are, are just going to be upcoming people, people that haven't been discovered, people that are out operating uh, fully in their gifts and fully functional and itinerant sort of pastors and you're going to give them a voice and a camera and and uh, in that time uh, you're going to have millions of followers on YouTube so you're essentially not even going to have a studio you, uh, you're you just going to have a camera that goes to you and, uh, and uh, the person and it's going to live stream on Facebook and live stream on YouTube and People, um, after you finish your live stream, they'll be able to watch it on YouTube and you won't have to be on all the Christian channels and pay for all that advertising. And uh, We've got so many things for you. You're going to have uh, Christian uh, talkback radio and you're going to have uh, uh, TV and you're going to have uh, all sorts of things. And you've seen this in your future and, uh, and uh, I want you to know that... Uh, when the time comes, when you're prepared, uh, you're going to have contracts and you're going to uh, be going to gunner. You're yeah, having me say gunner, Matthew. I'd never say gunner. Uh, you're going to uh, have contracts and you, you're going to learn from this experience with this bad boss uh, that did the typing and this experience with the typist with the 19 days you're going to have experience with dealing with people professionally and uh, um, and uh, having boundaries and having set guidelines and being able to hire and fire people uh, 
according to their works. And uh, that's how the kingdom works. Uh, uh, you know, people are mistaken uh, thinking that they can just uh, go to church on Sunday and sit in pews and do nothing. Uh, you know, if, if, if you don't do anything in the kingdom, uh, you don't get any reward. You, you go to one of the least places in heaven uh, and uh, and uh, you, you're not uh, you don't really enjoy your heaven experience. There's even people outside the gate in paradise that they're, they're not even that that don't even have access to Jesus or the throne room. And Jesus goes out there to say hello, but it's like they just live in a farming community and uh, they're aware that they're in he heaven or heavenly sort of thing, but it's just like another earth. Uh, it, it, it's not heaven. And then there's realms of glory in heaven. And not everyone can walk around and meet Moses and, and Elijah and King David and Solomon. And you, you, you just, you know, the average person in heaven just can't meet those people. And uh, they're walking in different realm. And uh, they may be walking down the street uh, in the main street of heaven, around the throne room, around the shops, and the other people can't see them. And they're only interacting with people on their realm or people that um, the Holy Spirit chooses for them to meet with. So some person may be growing in heaven and going in leaps and bounds and they're uh, studying a certain scripture of, of David and um, David will come along alongside them and come to a coffee shop where they're having a coffee and sit down with them and saying, you're struggling over this verse. Let's go over it and let me share you what, what I meant by this. And uh, that's how heaven operates. And so if you're listening to this and, and you're not doing anything for the kingdom, you're, you're not doing anything, uh, don't, don't think that you're going to have an experience like someone who's Matthew who's who's spent over $130,000 publishing books for the kingdom and uh, making them 99 cents virtually for free. Um, don't think that uh, every day Matthew uh, works uh, full time uh, for the kingdom and, uh, and uh, does everything he's called to do, everything he's asked to do. Don't think that uh, you uh, are going to have the same experience and the same reward in heaven. Uh, it says in multiple places that the Lord will repay you according to your works. And if, if your works are evil, if your works are contrary to the gospel, if uh, you're um, participating in sin or you're um, not uh, obeying Jesus and, and uh, you're uh, proven that you're a goat and not uh, showing compassion on people and, and uh, ignoring people and not loving people, you're not even going to be in heaven. And, uh, and uh, you, your experience of hell as a Christian going to hell, your experience of hell is going to be a lot worse than, than someone who was just an atheist, someone who didn't believe in God. Uh, your experience of hell knowing where you could have gone and knowing all the scripture verses that make you guilty is going to be a whole lot worse. Uh, and uh, uh, in hell, you're going to have the scriptures playing through your mind that told you to repent, were, were speaking to your conscience and, and you, dis you disobeyed your conscience and you didn't do things. Oh, no, things are right. Once saved, always saved. I can't lose my salvation. That verse doesn't mean what it's saying to me. And uh, don't feel that you haven't been warned. Don't 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 come back to uh, God in hell and say I, I wasn't warned. Someone didn't tell me. If you're watching this video, you've been warned. And uh, so God is going to reward each one according to their works. And uh, and I want you to know, Matthew, that um, uh, we've got everything planned uh, years ago. Uh, you know, Jesus uh, said to you that the last world revival isn't going to start without you. And uh, uh, he also said that the, the last world revival is waiting for you and it's not going to start until you're ready. And so people can pontificate and talk about outpourings and, and talk about revival and revival can spring up in place to place. But the last world revival starting in Australia 
that's not going to start without you being part of it. And uh, you can uh, just uh, relax and take your time and enjoy this time. Just um, take the time to enjoy this time, Matthew, uh, because uh, because uh, in, in the future you're going to be really busy. But you're going to have fun while you're busy. Um, all you'll uh, do is... Uh, is is uh, dictate a book and um, it'll be sent off and uh, then you'll be editing it and you'll be going through this process all the time. You'll always be writing books uh, because books are just such a good medium and especially uh, the fact that they can read a book or they can listen to an audio book and you'll always have this process going out and people will always be learning. Even these conversations are going to be a, a book and uh, and uh, it may not be your most popular book, uh, but heaven wants to show people that their relatives can talk to them. Heaven wants people to know that part of their um, part of their inheritance as a son of God is to be able to talk to their relatives in heaven. And uh, their relatives may not be ascended to a place where I am. Um, uh, my reward uh, in heaven came because of uh, the effort I put into your life to get you to where you are. And uh, you're like a, um, going to be used like a savior of the world. And, uh, and if uh, you're listening to this, you think Matthew's delusional. Well, he is delusional and he has got a mental illness. And, uh, but you'll see in 10 to 20 years, you'll see what happens and you'll see the truth from fiction and, uh, because you're going to ascend to this place on earth, uh, which is going to be a powerful position in the Christian church uh, or the new church, the new wine, the, the, the new wine uh, that the old wine skins can't accept because you're part of this last day's outpouring, uh, because of your position, uh, because I helped you get here, I've uh, been promoted to this place in heaven that few people are at. And uh, this is why I'm mixing with all the saints because we're uh, discussing your life and so many saints, like Anne was saying, that uh, you're going to have visitations from many, many, many saints. And uh, they're all talking to me and they're all uh, aligning with the Holy Spirit when they're going to start turning up in your life. So, uh, you know, your council meeting's going to open up to more than those six saints and you're going to start... Uh, talking to many saints. So uh, you've got an exciting future ahead, Matthew, and uh, half an hour is up and uh, we'll allow people just to have half an hour blocks of me speaking. It was great talking to you today, Matthew. God bless.